Hello, you're on Popo Spot, and this is DevScoops, a rapid show and tale on tools and practices in cloud technology in general. So if this tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. Today, I'm going to look into ensuring that my Terraform code is vulnerability and attack proof as much as possible. And I'm going to show you how I use a tool called TFSec to achieve this. This tool is available in ASDF, so let me go ahead and add this plugin into my local ASDF. Then I'm going to list down all the available versions that I can use. I'm going to use version 1.19.0. I'm on my home directory and I have a tool versions file in here which I'm going to open. And then add my tfsec at the end of this list. And then I'm going to run ASDF install. This will read the contents of my tool versions file and install anything that's not installed on my system and skip those that are already installed. Now that I have TFSec on my system, let me run this on one of my infrastructure code. I choose the Terraform refactoring repository for this, so let's head to that directory. Then I'm going to launch VS Code from here. The good thing about this tool is no extra prep and setup is required to be able to run this. So you can essentially straight away run the command and no AWS credentials is required to be able to scan the Terraform code. Before I start doing anything else, I need to update this repository such that it will have ASDF local config that contains the version of TFSec that I'm using. So let me head to my VS Code terminal and set up ASDF for TFSec on this repository. Now let's start using this tool. I will run TFSec on the root of my repository. What this will do is it will traverse directories under the current working directory and it will look for any Terraform code and then it performs the checks on all these files. You will notice at the bottom of the console are three summaries of the scan. I'm mainly interested with the count and the result. The count section of the output shows how many Terraform modules have been processed, how many resource blocks have been scanned, and how many Terraform files have been read. And then the results section shows the scan results. So in my case, I have four high and two low vulnerabilities found in my infrastructure code. So let's go ahead and have a look at the high findings and resolve them. The output of the scan is usually sorted from the highest severity finding down to the lowest. So you will always find the ones that need more attention at the top. The first finding indicates that I need image scanning enabled on my ECR repository. I have all the information I need provided in here, including the location of the file and the line of the code. So let me go ahead and implement this. So on my VS Code Explorer, I'll open the file provided in the scan result. The finding tells me to implement image scanning on my ECR repository, so let me go ahead and implement that. And now back to my VS Code terminal, and let's check what the next scan result is. The next scan result says that my repository tags are mutable, which means I'm allowing my ECR image to be overwritten by changes on the same tag. So let me head back to my VS Code and implement tag immutability on my ECR repository resource. And now back to my VS Code terminal. Looks like that's the last high finding that I need to address. Let me go ahead and rerun TFSec. The scan still fails, but I'm left with only two low findings. So let's say I'm not really concerned about the low findings and I want the Terraform security scan to complete successfully. So what I can do is head to my VS Code Explorer and in the root of my repository, I'm going to create a file called tfsec.yaml. This will be the configuration file for my Terraform security scan. And in this file, I will add a configuration entry that determines the minimum severity level that the scan will raise error for. What I have set in here is the config entry that tells TFSec to raise error only when there are security findings that are at least medium in severity, which means low findings will be ignored. Now, let me head back to my VS Code terminal. I will rerun TFSec, but this time I will pass a config file parameter pointing to the configuration file that I just created. And now my TFSec run is clean. And that's it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.